In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this amazing chicken tractor. You will need 3 foot chicken wire, 2 foot chicken wire, 3 inch PVC pipes, 4 inch and half inch PVC corners, 7 eighths inch drill bits, tape measure, cutter, a hammer, and a drill, 11 inch and 5 inch zip ties, PVC primer and glue, a bungee cut cord for the door lock, a waterer, a feeder, and a tarp for shade. First, you'll need to cut two of the three inch PVC pipes at six feet. Next, you'll need to wire brush the tips of the pipes and the inside of the elbows. You don't have to do the wire brushing if your PVC is already cooked. Once you've wire brushed both the tips of the PVC and the inside of the corners, use PVC primer on both the tip of the PVC and the inside of the elbows. When you've finished with the primer, use PVC cement on the tip and the elbows so that they stick together and don't come apart. Try not to get your PVC dirty after you have the cement on it. Once you've finished making the whole base, drill 7 8 inch holes at the tip of the corner. Once you've done both sides, put a half inch PVC pipes in one hole and then bend it to the other hole. This will make the dome. Then, mark two feet away from that hole. Do the same for the other sides. Drill in those marks. Once you've drilled holes every two feet to the middle, bend PVC in each hole like you did the first one. When you're done, you'll have the finished dome. Once you have all six PVC pipes in the holes, stretch two foot wide chicken wire over the top of two of the pipes. Then zip tie to the bottom using 11 inch zip ties. Just use the smaller zip ties. Ooh look, here come our Indian runner ducks. Indian runner ducks were bred in Thailand to forage for bugs in rice paddy fields. They were bred to be harmless and defenseless, and also flightless, but they do great at keeping the bugs off of our property. Click here to learn more about Indian runner ducks and the rest of our flock. Do the same thing with the chicken wire wire and all the zip ties on all the other sides. 
Yesterday we left off and we had covered the entire roof with chicken wire and left a spot for our door. Today we're going to put in the door and put three foot chicken wire on the other side. For the door you will need four pieces of two foot half inch PVC pipe and four corners. You'll also need small five inch zip ties and three foot wide chicken wire. Put the PVC pipes together to create a square and then zip tie it to some three foot chicken wire. Hello Paisley. When you're finished zip tying, cut off all the excess wire. Now we're going to put three loose zip ties and attach the gate onto the coop. To tie the door onto the coop, use three zip ties at the very top. Tie them loosely so that you can still open it. If the zip ties are loose, it should open easily. Use a bungee cord to strap the door closed so that the chickens can't escape. Hello puppies! If you would like to see the puppies first two weeks, click here. Would you like us to see a video with her in it? Click here. Now that we've finished the door, we're going to cover both sides with three foot chicken wire. For the sides, use three foot chicken wire all the way around. Unravel it and then tie it at the top first so that you know it's the right height. Then tie it at the bottom with the larger zip ties. Hey, give me back my zip tie. Silly puppy. Tie the rest of the top of the dome to the chicken wire so that it stays in place and it really doesn't come off. So now we're going to fold back the ends here on the sides so that you don't even have to cut them. And then we're going to cover the south end with some old shower curtains. This is Bunky. She's our professional chicken catcher. Would you like to learn how to catch a chicken? Click here. What's going on? Our worst winds come from the west, and our sun is on the southern side. So the major majority of our tarp is on the southwest side. We also added this string and PVC pipe to make it easier to pull. We'll move the tractor like this every couple of days so that the grass stays green underneath it. So that's it. We have 60, uh, this is 60 square feet and we've got nine chickens in it and they seem pretty happy. 
We needed to put them in here because they had been misbehaving and going into our neighbor's cow yard, and we didn't really want them in there. So we put them in this tractor, and it seems to be working pretty great. We put our breeders in our older tractor, and we're trying to breed our black rooster with two buff Orpington hens, and we're trying to see if we can get some lavender chickens. Tell us what you think of this plan in the comments below. Thanks! Hi, we're the Vineyard Chicks, and we'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Go ahead, click it now. We'd love to hear your questions and comments, so leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Thanks!